Hi Pisces, welcome back to Peony Lore where we help you to find the beauty in all things. Um, sorry I'm a little bit delayed, I was not feeling well this weekend and <clears throat> I'm just not going to rush myself in trying to put, put information out if I'm not feeling well because if I'm not feeling well then the information comes out a little bit skewed. Um, or could potentially be derived that way and that's, that's never how I want things to go. But we are starting with, with Pisces today here. Um, this will serve from uh, today, August the 23rd, uh, till the end of the week. And um, I wanted to start with Pisces today because we have a lot of transits that are actually happening in the sign of Pisces today. Um, we have a couple of different things that are happening. Of course, I have my notes for the week here. So Pisces, what we have is the moon transiting into Pisces with... Uranus and Taurus. So we talked a little bit about that last week because what that means is the full energy is kind of fighting a little bit with Taurus, which wants to be stable. So new things trying to come in. So it could potentially be challenging the way that you are thinking about um, trying to get something going on. The other thing is that there's an opposition with Mars and Mercury, both in Virgo today. So, um, that's kind of a, a, a big energy because again, Mercury wants to go very, very, very fast. And um, Mars also is the energy of the tower. So there could be some disruptions that show up of surprises. They don't necessarily have to be bad, but there are definitely some surprises. However, there is also a conjunction with Neptune and Pisces. And so we get into that whole Neptunian energy and that's the energy of, you know, dreams, the moon, basically the moon energy dreams and other different types of things coming through. If you are feeling extremely strongly spiritually connected, especially because of the big blue moon that we had yesterday in, um, in the sign of Aquarius, um, you could be really feeling a lot of just change energy today here Monday. The other big thing though I think that is going to help balance it out just a nub is the fact that Venus is in Libra in the natural house um, but there's a trine going on with Saturn in Aquarius so that is about the expansion and change that's happening so on the one hand we've got the full energy that wants to try to come in to talk about making some things happen on the other hand we have um, you know Taurus trying to calm things down but also like I said with Venus Venus is the natural ruler of Libra and Taurus, so there's an opportunity for that to kind of calm itself down just a little bit. And so I wanted to start with you guys today because that's a, a lot of big energy that's happening today. The remainder of the week really technically belongs to, um, honestly, it belongs to Aries and it belongs to Taurus because Taurus has got a huge, huge situation, although we do have um, the moon transitioning um, into... Uh, well, the moon transits into the sign of Aries starting on Tuesday, and that'll go through all the way until Thursday. There's that opposition with the moon in Aries with Libra and Venus, so that's going to affect the people's drive a little bit on Wednesday. On um, Thursday, we have the moon in Aries. We've got Mercury um, in Virgo. We've got Capricorn and Pluto. So we've got that whole drive and persistence issue again talking uh, with... Um, with the Capricorn energy, with Pluto and the judgment. So there's an opportunity for second chances for some people to come through, especially if you're dealing with the Capricorn. It doesn't have to be, but, um, you know, like I said, the best things and best qualities about Capricorns is they're driving their persistence to try to keep things going. Um, then the moon does switch signs on Taurus through the remainder of the weekend. So I wanted to make sure we put that out there. But Thursday is going to be a really, really good day for people to just like take care of a lot of things in general. Then on Friday, like I said, Taurus has got a square with Saturn in Aquarius. It's got a trine with Sun in Virgo. This is all Taurus energy. We also have Jupiter um, doing some dancing with Aquarius on um, Friday as well. Saturday, we have Taurus transitioning. We've got Uranus thrown up in the mix. We've got Libra thrown up in the mix. So Venus is uh, all over the place on Saturday. Okay. And then Neptune is in the sign of Aquarius. And so we kind of talked about that a little bit. So that whole moon energy that pops up with that whole water energy with Aquarius is going to be a very, very interesting day on Saturday for people to try to navigate. But again, Venus coming in is going to be able to support. And then Sunday is going to be an extremely highly productive day with the with the balancing out of the of the remainder of those energies. So I wanted to make sure I put that out there and let's go ahead and get started with your reading, okay? 
Here we go, Pisces. This is from the 23rd all the way through. Oh my gosh, is it going to be the 30th already? Let me get my calendar out here. Yeah, Sunday the 29th. What? Yeah, well, hey, there we go. Interesting, interesting, interesting. We have gone through this summer so quickly. <laughs> so very quickly. Okay, Pisces, here we go. Wow. That means school is starting for a lot of people if you haven't already um, started with school. Okay, so your card this week is the hexahedron. We're talking about laying foundations down for this particular week, okay? So that is the main energy for you. And let me move my notes out of the way. We don't need those. And I will put these cards to the side and I'll put this little guy here and we will just kind of keep these up for you. Okay, hopefully you guys are hearing me better. I put my little earbuds in <laughs> um, so that we can kind of get through it. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the in-between tarot deck and we're gonna pull information and energies um, that you are working through and then we'll pull um, a different deck to do the layout and foundation this week. This is just how they wanted me to be able to do it for this particular week. I find it um, interesting that they wanted to do it this way. But they said use the in-between for the prior energies to this current moment. And then the majors that pop out from my other deck will be clarified with this deck. So that's what's up. Okay. And then, of course, it's so funny because I was doing a personal reading first thing this morning. I literally have 20 decks on this table right here, we're not going to use all 20 decks, okay? <laughs> but we are going to use a few. We're, of course, going to use our in-between tarot. We're going to use our white sage tarot. We're going to use the angel cards, both sets of them. We're going to use the oracle of the radiant sun, for sure, for sure, for sure. And then I will, the, they said that they would let me know. I think they're going to switch it up for every sign as far as the oracle that's going to come up this week, okay? So Pisces, these are the transitioning energies that I see uh, for you, current, ah, past to this current moment. Mm, interesting. One more. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So the first card that popped out here is the Four of Swords in the reverse position. Um, that was transitioning with uh, between the Four of Swords and the Five of Swords. And so this is what the card looks like. Okay. This is the in-between tarot deck. And so this was coming to a realization that big pardon this was coming to a realization that rest might uh you might have been done resting and you realize that you were having to get into a particular situation the energy that shows up next to that is the wheel of fortune with the justice in the reverse position so this was the universe's way of trying to give you a heads up with that current energies that there's something that you needed to be aware of and they were trying to give you that heads up to take a look into something and so several of you, it's going to have something to do with work or employment. We've got the three of coins going into the four of coins. So it was about trying to um, come up with information about your stability and growing within your stability, which I find is very interesting because now this week we're talking about making sure that you're laying down your foundations. And so laying down your foundations, root chakra, um, it can also be related to home. Obviously, um, finance is going to be a part of it. And again, we've got Libra and Venus. And so Venus is all about making sure that people look good, feel good, and smell good. Venus is about love, and it's also about money. So that is what we've got going on into this particular week, okay? This week, we are going to use our Steampunk Tarot deck <clears throat> for your base energy for the rest of the week, okay? So we're going to start with today, Monday. We're going to go all the way through um, Sunday's energy. Pisces. Sun, moon, rising. Okay. Ten of cups is today's energy in the reverse position. So there is not the energy of coming into... Um, balance when it comes to abundance so the cups energy is very much romantic energy but it also is abundant energy as well so it can have a lot to do with finance so it's not there yet okay so the 10 always becomes a one so this is in creation mode okay just so that we have an understanding of what that looks like tuesday's energy for pisces with the moon transitioning into aries what do we got going on there Thank you. It's this card here. Thank you. 
So what we have is the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse position. So there's a lot of review of what's going on within your physical monies or decisions that have been made in the past. What we have showing up here on Wednesday is the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse position. So they're saying not to give up on, on, on what needs to be able to work. Whatever clarity you need is coming by Thursday with the Queen of Swords. This is Libra's energy showing up here, okay? So the Moon in Aries... Um, coming through like i said we've got a lot of changes with taurus this particular week that's a, you know it has a lot to do with what's going on there let's see what we have for friday Ooh, there we go these cards are talking you've got a pair i love this not only do you have the wheel of fortune but you have the magician this is the energy um, that is showing up on friday now um, we have Jupiter and Aquarius. We also have Taurus with Saturn. And like I said, we had Mercury and Mars trying to do this big dance starting on Thursday. So you've got this big opportunity that shows up here for you um, on Friday's energy with the, with the combination of the Magician and the Wheel of Fortune. So Jupiter wanting to come in and actually support you at that particular moment with whatever manifestations it is that you're trying to bring forward. So we're going to do a lot of clarification for you on Friday. Let's move these up and let's get into the energy of Saturday and Sunday for you, Pisces. Okay, Saturday's energy. You know, I might have to switch to my wired ones. Those fit in my ears better. That's okay. Just want to make sure you can hear me. <laughs> Let's go into Saturday. Taurus, Uranus, good gravy. Is this for just Saturday or is this for all? Got it. This is just Saturday. These are big energies for you. And then Sunday for Pisces, please this one here oh I like it <laughs> okay so what we have at the bottom of the deck just as a clarifier okay is the knight of pentacles in the reverse position this is Taurus that shows up here okay it's earth energy could also be Capricorn as well um, uh, Virgo energy as well but the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse position is indicating that things are going a little bit more slowly than what you would like to be able to have happen, which is fine, okay? Saturday's energy, we have an opportunity for you to get some clarification. We have the Ace of Swords in the reverse position. We have the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse position. And we have the King of Pentacles in the reverse position. All of this takes place on Saturday for you, Pisces, okay? On Sunday, though, we have the Three of Pentacles that shows back up. So this is the base that they're trying to talk about. So what I'm getting out of this whole situation for you guys is that you are doing a lot of evaluating from things that maybe needed to come up and um, there was a shift or some other things that were happening for you this uh, from previous to this particular current point. Um, it looks like things start to turn around for you very, very strongly on Thursday and Friday. Saturday looks like there's just some clarification that's coming. It's just not all the way here yet with the aces in the reverse position. There's a little bit of um, trepidation is what I get because you want that king of pentacles to come through with that stability. But then by Sunday, you're back on um, your game with trying to kind of figure out what's going on here. What I think is the most magical day for you is really going to be Friday. The two most auspicious days of the week, though, are Thursday and Sunday. So Thursday, you got the energy of the Queen of Swords. Friday, again, the Magician with the Wheel of Fortune. So the energy of finance is coming in here. Libra, uh, Venus is bringing this energy to you, Pisces, so that you can do some um, some strategic creation. The energy of Libra, though, this, this, this Queen of Swords, and it doesn't necessarily have to be, but it is, okay? <laughs> this Libra energy that's coming through is asking you to get your thoughts together. Like, this is clarity. This is like cutting out the BS. This is realizing that on Wednesday when you're not feeling like you can move forward or that their job needs to change um, because Tuesday you're reevaluating it and you're not really feeling the love about what's necessarily happening and it's affecting kind of where it is that you, where it is that you want to be today. Um, 
that you've, you've got some changes and you've got some moves that need to be made. So this manifestation energy that comes through is laying this foundation is really talking to you about supporting your change, okay? Um, the universe needs for you to do some things differently. So let's go ahead and clarify really, really quickly. We're gonna use our White Sage Tarot deck here to clarify all cards, and then we will use the in-between on these majors that showed up here on this particular day, okay? So we're gonna get an extra card for that on the Friday. Interesting du duplication of cards here. So let's talk to, let's talk to um, this Ten of Cups and let's find out for clarity purposes why this Ten of Cups is in the reverse position for our Pisces today on Monday. Give me more information about the Ten of Cups in reverse for Pisces today here on Monday. Mm. Oopsie. Yeah, I don't really like these things. We get the hair font that showed up. Okay, so the hair font is the energy of our our Taurus. Um, we also have the Ten of Swords in the reverse position, so that there's current you're currently healing from something that was a challenge. And here is the Empress. This is Venus coming through. So it's showing up on the day that it's supposed to show up. Venus is wanting to help you clear this situation out um, completely. Wow. You are going through it. So some of you are coming out of a breakup with a relationship. Some of you guys are coming out of a, a, a bad breakup in a relationship. Um, and if it wasn't a romantic relationship, it was definitely a business partnership of some sort with that ten of, uh, 10 of Cups in the reverse position. Again, Ten of Cups has a lot to do with love, but it also has a lot to do with abundance as well. Not feeling the love at a job, not feeling connected to the people that you work with, having a problem with the boss, something like that. Um, so the Hierophant comes in here and is talking about specifically, and I'm getting organization out of this for some individuals because it's higher level of commitment. So you were challenging a higher level of commitment or higher level of commitment was coming through. It's done. It's over. It needs to be done and over with. But Venus is coming here at the end of the day with this Empress card to say, listen, we, we need to make a change for you, Pisces. So if either you're going through a personal breakup or there is a need to break up with what's going on in your workplace, then um, this reading definitely is for you. Excuse me just a second. I'm going to grab my other earbud. <clears throat> and I'll have to switch to my wired ones in just a little bit. <clears throat> All right, let's move now to the energy of Tuesday with this Seven of Pentacles in the reverse position. You've evaluated something, something was not right, and now it looks like you are definitely ready to make a different change, ready to move forward. Seven of Pentacles is clarified by the Judgment card in the reverse position, the Tower. And the High Priestess in the reverse position. Okay, so... <clears throat> The judgment card that comes through, okay, because we, we've talked about this before. The judgment card comes through and to let us know when we have um, an, a second opportunity coming. The judgment cards talks about the same energy with like the death card. It talks about second chances. It talks about new opportunities, rebirth type of a situation. You had to go through this particular situation. Okay, the judgment card was here to tell you that you had to go through this particular situation. This surprise energy that shows up here with this tower, um, you know, the universe wants to let you know that you didn't need to second guess your intuition when it, when it came to this particular situation. I think you had an idea, you had a feeling that something was getting ready to happen and change for you. So that's exactly kind of, uh, of what was going on here. But the judgment card you know, when it comes through and it's mixing with Mars energy here, this, this, this tower card is just that in order for you to break through out of this, you got to let go of this old in order to let the new kind of come through. And it can be painful for people. It can be shocking for people, but it is what it needs to be. Okay. So therefore, when we get to the energy of Wednesday, when we get to this eight of pentacles, this is not feeling like you want to work like you're are no longer in control. 
um, or, or you no longer um, have the energy to go forward, right? It's just not working, <laughs> literally, in the most literal sense. Not working, yeah. The chariot in the reverse position. Ponies are not traveling in the right direction together, you guys. It was not. It's not going to work. It's a little bit too chaotic. Um, Queen of Wands. Okay, so this is entrepreneurial energy. The Queen of Wands is like the phoenix rising from the ashes. The Queen of Wands has been there. She's done that. She's my, you guys know, my favorite queen out of the entire deck because she means what she says and she starts to do the work. So it's not just about talk, talk, talk. It's about do, do, do um, at this particular moment. So whatever was not right for you in the past, now is an opportunity for something new to kind of show, its, show itself to you here on this Wednesday, okay? Um, and what we have here is this Three of Wands. So just because the Three of Wands is in the reverse position, it just means that there's a, a series of reevaluating that's going on here. But look at what you get. You also get the Eight of Cups. So there's a reevaluation process as you're being restored here with this Ace. And you guys know that the Aces are all gifts. So it's, I get the feeling very, very strongly that some of you guys are walking into a new a potential for a new job very, very quickly. Um, someone's going to be offering you something. It may have something to do with, um, well, I would need to see another card just to, val to, to validate that. But I definitely feel that if you're feeling as though you're ready to take a couple of pentacles from Tuesday's energy and you've reevaluated what's going on here, you are going to be restored. Your faith does not need to be shaken too much. There is something that is for you with this ace that is showing up here, this ace of cups. Therefore, when we get to this juicy energy again on Thursday, now we're talking about this Queen of Swords energy going into um, opportunity for clarification. I mean, we're talking extreme discernment, knowing all the details, being very, very, being very, very confident. But in this deck, I want you to see this, that her sword is down by her side, okay? So she's got it. But she doesn't have to feel like she has to chop anybody's heads off. She's going to be willing to listen to the information that comes through, but still be able to use her judgment. Okay, so she's not going in at battle. She's going in to listen, learn, and receive the information and the clarification on this particular date. Let's see what else the Queen of Swords wants to tell her Pisces on Thursday. Okay. Okay. Looky, looky, looky who showed up. We got the fool energy. So, again... The energy of the fool coming through is talking about have faith in a situation. It's talking about trying to move forward. It's talking about, um, you know, kind of jumping all up, all in. We've got the five of swords energy. The five of swords energy is a little bit of conflict. It's a little bit of struggle. It's a little bit of um, trying to understand um who's supporting you and who's not supporting you it can be you also in the energy of not supporting yourself or your ideas but the but that energy is kind of like combative not supportive energy okay and receiving the clarity that you need and the reason is because you're questioning what's going on here with your stability with this potential with this person coming in to talk to you about another opportunity okay i'm gonna take one more on that queen of pentacles in reverse yeah you're going to have to make a decision with this two of wands coming forward, okay, um, with this queen of wands. And so just be in your best clarity at this particular moment. That's that energy that I would call in for you on Thursday, Pisces, okay? So when we get to Friday, we've got juicy, juicy information on Friday, okay? We've got the magician and we have the wheel of fortune. So we also have, let me go back into my notes here because I think there might be something here. Um, yeah, some of this energy started with the whole Mercury transitioning into Virgo and Capricorn and the Pluto and judgment energy is, is showing up there too. And the moon is switching into Taurus through the weekend. So here's where we're at. When we get to Friday's energy, again, we have Taurus, which has got a square with Saturn in um, uh, Aquarius, and then it's got this trine with the sun in Virgo. Okay, so let's talk about Virgo. <laughs> let's talk about that awesome Earth sign. As we move into the energy and we move into Virgo season here, we're talking about um, we're talking about perfection of service. That's Virgo, perfection of service. Okay. So when you get this water energy of Jupiter, right, now trying to go into the energy of Aquarius, 
you're talking about the Wheel of Fortune doing its dance on this particular day. Well, here it is. You've got the Magician and you've got Jupiter showing up for you on the day that it's supposed to be there. So let's talk. We're going to, again, we're going to get clarifiers from this one, but we're also going to go back in with our in-between um, to do the majors on this particular day. you got a lot on Friday. So let me have some information about the Magician and the Wheel of Fortune. And the only thing I'm getting out of this is really Mercury is supporting um, something very, very quickly trying to come through. We've got the Two of Pentacles in the... Re wow! Two of Pentacles in reverse, and we have the Ten of Pentacles upright. Wow! We have the Three of Swords in reverse, and then we have the Moon card. Everything is lining up right where it's supposed to be. So the Two of Pentacles is indicative of the fact that something has to be dropped or there's something that was completely out of balance and something had to go, all right? The Ten of Pentacles is coming in here because this is what it is that you want. There's new opportunity. So Jupiter coming in to support you is saying, yeah, there's something new for you. And then the Three of Swords is talking about healing from whatever it is that was going on. Whether it was an idea, whether it was a word, whatever the case may be, the Three of Swords is here to help clarify that. And then the Moon card here is really just indicative of the fact that there might be a little bit of trepidation and fear, but the moon card is about your subconscious information, what it is that, you're, that you've got going on here. It does have a lot to do with creativity as well. So when you get the magician and you get the moon card, you're being told to be creative with what it is that you want to be able to bring into your environment, and it's coming. You're going to heal from all of this shit. <laughs> you're going to get what it is that you need. And you're going to drop something that's completely out of balance. You're going to feel comfortable dropping something that's out of balance for you at this particular moment. Okay? Now, we're going to pull a card from the in-between on these majors here. <clears throat> and you got two. And we got two. Holy buckets of stunt. Justice with this hangman. Okay? S a situation... It's coming to a situ the, the situation is coming up where it's going to be a major it's going to be a major deal, and you've got also the five of wands transitioning into the six of wands. So someone is going to be presenting you with something, and you're going to take it, but you're kind of like, uh, am I really? Is this really for me? Yes, it is. Okay, justice coming through with this hangman position is asking you to realize that there is additional scrutiny that's happening with this particular situation. And when you receive this gift, when you receive this offer, when you receive this next step, okay, it's not something that you really have to challenge yourself on too much, really, okay? The universe is laying things up the way that they're supposed to be laid up. I mean, this is really gorgeous energy, Pisces, honestly. Friday is great. So why does that leave you with all of this hesitancy when you come towards Saturday? All these cards are in the reverse position. You're challenging whether or not this is the right thing for you. This is just more of the theme, okay? You're challenging whether or not this energy is right for you, this new job, this new opportunity, this new tangible, touchable thing. Is it really mine? You're challenging the ace, and you're not really clear because you're challenging the second ace? Chow, please. But I get it. <laughs> you're going something that's very dramatic <clears throat> into something that's very good. Um, the universe is here to tell you not to change it. Look at this. You got the King of Pentacles. I said what I said. I'm done. You're challenging this opportunity that the universe is giving to you, and you don't really need to do that. But you're going to figure it out. On the second auspicious day of the week, we've got this, uh, the Three of Pentacles. This is the beginnings of the strong foundation. This is the beginnings of the strong foundation. A three-legged stool stands just as tall uh, are just as strong as a four-legged stool. This is the beginning of an apprenticeship. It's the beginning of collaboration with someone else. It's the beginning of the energy of that new strong foundation. Let's see what else we have here with that three of pentacles. Okay. We have the hangman, your perspective. Okay. Um, receiving clarification from the highest level. It's also kind of like receiving enlightenment from the universe in a sense. So you're going to let down your barriers. You're going to let down your guard a little bit. That's not necessarily anything that's bad. Okay, sometimes you got to just not be boxing yourself in, right? And then 
you have, look at this. You got the freaking star card. Hello. Hello, you guys. This is marvelous. So again, this is the universe's way of trying to take care of a situation that you may not have been, oh, where's my notes? So that you may not have been able to take care of on your own. Sunday is an auspicious day. Now let me go into my other notes here just so that I can pull this together here for you. Yep. You got net. You got uh, the moon in Taurus, which has got this trine. Yeah, it is with Capricorn. That whole tenacity, that whole situation with Pluto. This change is supposed to happen. That's the big thing that's supposed to be going down for you with Jupiter in Aquarius, um, and then the moon will start to enter into the sign of Gemini, and of course Libra enters uh, Mercury um, like around ten ten. So this is to push the universe was was trying to give you on this particular day this is what you want so um I'm, I'm telling you pisces if you guys have been going through it if you went through it last week if you're going through a job change or even a relationship change whatever the partnership was that wasn't right by this weekend you're going to be in a whole brand new gorgeous type of a situation um and the only thing that you have to be aware of is kind of getting yourself out of your own little pity party here with the Queen of Cups in the reverse position because the King of Wands is here for you, baby. King of Wands is ready to go. The King of Wands is ready to support you. And the King of Wands is going to be able to make sure that you understand that you don't have to battle yourself with any internal conflicts. That's done. They're here to clear you of that because you've got all this new juicy opportunity that's showing up here. Okay, so this new communication that's coming through with this Page of Wands is for you. Please don't challenge it. But... Again, use your own discernment when it comes to these different types of things as well. But I'm telling you, the universe is lining up specifically the way that it's supposed to be. All right, angels, let us go through and clarify what is going on here with our Pisces. Okay. <laughs> Listen deeply to the people and your angels. When you get this situation that shows up on Thursday, when this conversation happens on Thursday, please make sure that you're listening. Do more listening and less talking, but also make sure that you're listening to your angels. They are really talking to you right now. You just have to be quiet so that you can hear what it is that they're saying to you and, or recognizing their signs and signals. The other thing that they're trying to tell you is that they're trying to give you a lot of healing energy through this whole process as well. All right. So that are some of the, those are some of the good energies that are coming from that one. The therapy angels also are stepping forward for you here. They said, got it. I understand. They said that you do need to protect yourself from any, um, fear based, um, or harsh energies that you are around this week, envisioning a cocoon of light surrounding you. So shield yourself from people's BS this week and release yourself from any fear of this particular situation that's popping up here. So shield yourself is important. And the other thing that they said is gonna be important for you to get through and navigate while they're doing this healing is this vegetarian vegan. They're not telling you to switch to vegetarianism or veganism, but they are asking you to bring in more natural elements into your diet this week, which will help to clear your mind, okay? Which will help to clear your mind. Um, fresh organic fruits and vegetables give you a boost of high life force energy, which helps to elevate your spiritual frequency as well, especially to hear your angels and guides as they're trying to communicate with you. Oracle of the Radiant Sun for our Pisces, please. Um, <laughs> the moon in Taurus energy, this is all about exaltation for you this particular week. Oops, that was too many. Um, yes, we have the whole Mars energy in Capricorn. This is the authority energy that's going to show up for you this weekend. A little bit of challenge with that. I get it. But the other thing with it is being the authority within your own, um, self. Like this is what you want when you want it. You are the master of your creation. So they want you to not fear other individuals. They want you to feel confident in stepping into your authority this particular Sunday when the situation shows up, okay? 
Whoa. All, whoa. Okay. Don't feel when Mars goes into this Aries sign um, on Thursday, Friday, that energy is. Don't feel as though you're being overly impulsive with the conversations that are coming forward. And then also the appreciation card is coming out. This Leo energy. They want you to feel um, uh, gracious and appreciative for the individuals that are showing up for you. Um, and also appreciation for yourself for the work that you're getting ready to go through this particular week. There's one more card. Oh, they said two. All right, I got it. So we're going to go in with the numerology deck for you. Whoa, thank you. <laughs> A lot of this is going to boil down or has a lot to do with, for some of you, is financial discipline. The other thing that they're saying is watch out for card 48, okay? Um, reduces down to three, which is catalyst energy, which is the three of pentacles. So financial discipline is going to be a, something that's going to be important for you. Planning, when you're going through your manifestation phase of ensuring that you have enough to do what you want to do and you have enough to put into the different things that have to happen. I don't have to tell you how to budget. You guys can go do your own thing. I'm not a financial advisor, but um, financial di discipline is going to be important for, for Pisces this week. Um, <clears throat> I'm bringing in a different angel deck. Um, this will have some meaning for some people. They're having me not use the, uh, it doesn't really matter. Mystical Wisdom deck is what we're gonna use right now. This is for Pisces. There it is. Ha ha ha! <laughs> this is a miracle, please don't challenge it. The Angel of Miracles is here to support you. Open your heart and expect a miracle. This is for you. All right, Pisces, I don't really know what else to say except, damn, this is going to be really, really good. Going from a really sh a strange spot, um, again, from last week's current energy till now or recent energy, knowing that there was a situation that they were trying to like, hey, man, you got to watch out for this situation here. You got to have to wake up because you're going to have to face this particular situation to three of coins transitioning you into your stability into laying your foundations. You got the magician, you got the wheel of fortune that showed up for you. And by the end of the week, you've got this situation that's showing up that is going to help you level out, okay? So I can appreciate the trepidation that you're gonna have with those two aces that are showing up. But those two aces, that one, one, that 11, 11 energy in the reverse, it's you stopping you. It's not the universe. It's like you challenging. Yes, this is your miracle, accept it. Okay. Um, I know that the, where did I put it? Sorry guys, I gotta go get the book. I wanna read you the crystals that will support you this week. This is Root Chakra, but let me get your book for you, okay? This is also card 16, which um, <clears throat> reduces down to a seven, which is about your spirituality as well, or a lot of spiritual support with this hexahedron that's sitting here. So this is your miracle, okay? Sorry, they're saying that this is orange. That doesn't look orange to me. That looks red. But anyway, so <laughs> sacral chakra. Um, I allow myself to experience and express the joy that lies within me. I allow myself to experience and express the joy that lies within me. I allow myself to experience and express the joy that lies within me. And so it is. So as you're creating these new foundations, and I get why, it's, why they're going from or, uh, red to to orange root chakra but in your sacral chakras where you do the creating right that's that our creator our wombs um so the crystals okay that they want you to take a, a advantage of if if you want to do that okay is carnelian tangerine quartz shiva lingam chrysoprase and any cube shaped platonic solid if you happen to have one um if you and I don't, I don't really, I don't really get this, but they're just saying to express yourself in your chosen talent allows you to feel the joy and the pleasure that you deserve. And if you've experienced any type of a challenge, um, 
whether it even goes back to your childhood, this is the opportunity to kind of let that go because new things are here for you at this particular moment, okay? Um, the only other deal that I can say that could potentially be, and this is just very last minute, um, <clears throat> is if you are experiencing a, a change in your relationship status and you happen to be creator mode here with the empress, like pregnant, <laughs> um, realize that you are not making an impulsive decision, that there is some things that are, are going to be able to um, support you and this expansion with the three of pentacles, this foundation. So you're going through... Again, I'm, they're just giving me the story now, so I wasn't the biggest issue for me because that's not how I saw it. I saw it as I saw it as the breakup happening or the break out of a relationship with with someone else, breaking up or or having a break within it. But if you're experiencing yourself realizing that you are um, in the family way, you're also going to be taking taken care of so just make sure that you're giving yourself the rest um but everything is going to work out with that particular part of the expansion i know that was wonky <laughs> pisces um that is what i have for you for this particular week i cannot wait to watch what happens for you over the next couple of weeks um if you were able to resonate with this reading i would appreciate if you would give it a happy little thumbs up um, if you're a visitor and you haven't subscribed yet, please, you know, hit the subscribe button so that you can be made aware of all of the other information that I put forward on a weekly basis. If you didn't resonate 100% with this one, please make sure that you're taking a look at your moon, okay? Um, your sun, your moon, your rising, and also your north node to give you the, the best full picture of what's going on for you. But Pisces, that's what I have, and we will talk to you next week. Bye for now.